Hi guys, Archie Luxury. Go to f2bbs.com. www.f2bbs.com. The last bastion of free speech on the interweb. That's right, guys. I want you to go to www.f2bbs.com. That's right. I want you to go there. You can, uh, this is a, a great site to fight against all sorts of nasty and nastiness by posting on f2bbs.com. The last bastion of free speech on the interweb. Go there, guys. Hey guys, we're continuing the series Rolex AD Lies. Today's topic is developing a relationship with an AD. And today I want to go in explicitly how much moolah do you need to spend. Before we do that, let's do a quick, quick, quick whist watch check. My shoulder's been playing up a bit. Uh, here we go. It's a Rolex Submariner date. A Rolex Submariner date. This is the new, the hottest 41 mil, the Rolex Submariner. 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 Okay, guys. Let's discuss about developing a relationship with an AD. Now, so many people come to me, super chats, I get paid uh i get so many um you know email paid reviews they're asking me hey arch is it worthwhile me establishing a relationship with a dealer an ad very very interesting question and something worth exploring because if you go into this uh in the wrong way if we go into this the wrong way you know what's going to happen. People are going to be disappointed if they're not spending enough. So I'd like to tell you honestly, how much do you need to spend to develop a relationship with an AD? And let me just tell you, in the recent times, things have gotten a lot worse. One of the guys I do the live shows with, JJ LeCoot, JJ LeCoot. He established a relationship with his AD a number of years ago. Uh, he went in there and bought a 40 mil day date. Okay, and that, that was a very good thing to buy because he then got a bad girl. He got a, he's got a Z Blue lately. He's got quite a few of the hot Rolexes, not to mention a Tudor Pepsi, Tudor Pepsi. So, you know, he's also got a Wimbledon date just, okay, Wimbledon date just, yeah, may, may, maybe not the hottest, not the absolute hottest watch out there, but still very, very hard to get uh, in, in, in the current time. So I gotta be totally honest with you um, it's, it is, it is, it is, it is interesting. We've got to look at this and say, how much do you need to spend? Uh, another guy, another guy, a couple years ago, this is my guy, Tim Wright. He actually sponsors, sponsors time on the fridge here. TimWright.com. TimWright.com. He went into Rolex AD and he's got four absolute amazing watches. Four Rolex and a ladies 37 mil, 37 mil yacht master for the wife, and he's got four killer Rolexes. He's got the Sub Mariner date, or is it a no date? Well, it doesn't matter. It's a steel subby. He's got a Explorer two. He's got a Pepsi, and he's got a Panda Daytona. Very very nice collection. Now in his case. Family money, that's right, family money, long relationship, he was able to get these things. And he started getting these a couple of years ago when they weren't as hot. So he's got that long relationship. Now, you really can't do that now. That's You've got to really spend big. So how much money do you need to spend? Well, I, I'm in Australia, so you know we, we've got to work this out in in real terms here but in Australia I got a friend of mine 
he spent a hundred and fifty thousand Aussie dollars. What's that? A hundred and twenty-five US, something like that. And what did he get? Well, he bought some Pams. He bought some Tudors, some Tudor two tones in there as well. How many Roli was he given? How many Roli was he given? Well, all he managed to get was a Black Dial Explorer 2. Big deal. It's probably it's probably 2000 bucks Aussie profit in that. And he got a um a Sky Dweller two tone Black Dial. <laughs> Big bloody deal. That's right. Big bloody deal. He did get some discount on the Pams. Uh, he got a little bit of a discount on the Tudors. But nothing to make up for... He's It's really been quite poor. $150,000. And he's been invited into the private circle... Not much, really. It's been pretty dismal. Absolutely dismal. 150000 Aussie dollars. i got to tell you guys, if you really want to get an impression with the AD, you've got to do it in a short period of time. See, um, they have very, very short memories. Let me explain this to you. Um, i got a friend of mine, another friend. Uh, he's a huge Rolex guy. He's had he he's got a number of Rolexes he's bought for himself and and for his family, and in, in a twelve month period he basically bought a Sky Dweller solid gold with bracelet, big money. He bought a Deep Sea James Cameron, which it's a great watch, but they're not that hot. He got a root beer. Root beer is hard to get. He got. A Datejust 41 steel white gold bezel with blue dial and diamonds. He got a two tone steel and rose gold brown dial Datejust for his brother. Uh, and I think there may have been a 40 mil day day, 36 mil day day for another person. So there's considerable purchases. So he got this. No hard to get. No Pepsis. No Pandas. Uh, I mean, he had a bit of a history in the past. He got a two-tone Daytona from these people years ago. But you know what? He got one lousy Christmas card. Not this Christmas. The Christmas before. And that's it. No more. And he, he rang him up and said, could I possibly get... He wanted to get... I think he wanted a Batgirl or a Pepsi. Not. No, no, no. And, and this is the thing. He spent considerable coin. You, this is a, a boutique store, so it's kind of a store. No other brands. No no Tudors. Not even Tudors. They're just, just Rolex, this store. And one lousy Christmas card. I mean, he didn't really play it well. When he bought the Sky Dweller, he should have said, guys, can you put me down for a Pepsi? Can you put me down for a Kermit? Can you put me down for, you know, the hard-to-get stuff? So, so he was a little bit naive. But i got to tell you, man, one lousy Christmas card. Then he asked for a favor. Nah, nah. Absolutely lousy. I mean, if you were him, you'd be a little bit on the cheesed off side. Absolutely nothing. 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 Nothing worth. I mean, that, this is how these ADs will pump and dump you. They will do nothing for you. Um, I gotta tell you, um, experiences with the ADs, generally speaking, how much do you need to spend to get good stuff? Well, I got to tell you, I got to tell you, normally to be a high flyer, you got to spend about two to three hundred thousand a year. Two 
to 300,000. So you imagine this guy who writes to me and says, Ah, oh, Arch, can I send, I'm going to start a relationship. I, um, um, uh, I want to start a relationship with my AD. Uh, I want to buy a Tudor, I want to buy this, can I get a Pepsi, can I get a Panda? I'm thinking, man, you're not spending nowhere near enough. $200,000! Now, what you got to do is these dealers will pump and dump you. If you're going to buy a Sky Dweller, if you're going to buy the hard-to-get, hard-to-sell stuff, guess what? you got to negotiate with them at the time because... They will forget about you five minutes after you've left the store, okay? They will completely, and basically your spending cycle is one Christmas card for you. That is it. Absolutely disgusting service. Rolex, you should be ashamed of yourself. Um, I've got to tell you seriously, absolutely seriously, they will burn you. They will burn you. This is a guy who loves watches. He didn't have the nous to say, put me down for a Pepsi, put me down for a Panda. He just played it nice, and then when he asked for it, they slapped him, slapped him in the face. So i got to tell you, what you got to do is, you've got to go in sensibly. If you want to get the hot stuff, you say, look guys, I want to buy some watches. I want to get some of the hot stuff, and I will buy some of the cold stuff. I understand how it works. you got to sit down and negotiate the deal. Because the Rolex dealer, he only gives us stuff about the bottom line. He's, he, he may flick you the odd secondary tier steel sports, like an Explorer 2, an Explorer 1, a Mill Gauss. But he ain't going to flip you a Pepsi. He ain't going to flip you a Kermit or a Panda. No, 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 no. He ain't going to do that. So you should really negotiate with them before you proceed with a big sale. You, my friend, I gotta tell you, I'm so, he's such a nice guy, I love him to death, I really love him. And you know, he bought a Sky Dweller yellow gold on the brace, a lovely watch. He should have screwed him at the time and said, if I buy this, I want this. He didn't, he just said, yeah, I'll take that, I'll let you know if I want something. He's just a very good guy. After he'd done the deal, they forget about you. They just don't care. And that they won't get him a Pepsi. They won't get him a Panda, a Kermit. Even the 41 mil Submariner, they won't get it for him. They won't. They won't. It's really, really bad. I, I, I'm sorry, guys. I, I, I wanted to have better news for you. I wanted to tell you stuff uh, a little bit nicer. I wanted to be more, you know, but basically, I got to tell you the truth. You want to get the hard to get stuff? Let me tell you guys. Let me tell you honestly. Negotiate with them before you proceed. That's what you got to do. A good another deal I know about. Remember that 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 JLC Polaris. Well, that was part of a package deal. The package deal was JLC Polaris, which is is soft Okay. There was an 18K Reverso, and there was also another um, J, uh, 18K JLC. Three JLCs to get a Pepsi, and I think it was a Submariner. Okay, that is what had to be done. So if you buy enough garbage. You've got to package it. See, so what you, you've got to make the decision. Is it worth doing? Now, I'll give you some honest answer. I don't know about the other two JLCs, but in the case of the, 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 the Polaris, he got a slight discount. Normally, it's $17.9 in Australia. I think he got it for $16.5 or $16.9. I can't remember. But it was $1,000 off, roughly. And then... He was happy to lose six grand on it to get rid of it. To get rid of it. So that's that's how it is, guys. It's nasty. Believe you me, you've got to do the sums and work out, is it worth your while? 
And I kind of did the sums. Not only do you have to get rid of hard, soft, soft serve garbage. When I say garbage, they're good watches, but they're soft serve to sell. Everyone wants Rolex. They want Rolex. They don't want soft serve garbage. Uh, this, this is honestly what you have to do. I'm sorry. I, 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 I wish it was better. I, I, I do. I do. I, I, I really wish it wasn't as bad as this. But, man, what do I do? Do you want me to lie to you? What do you want me to do to you? I'm trying to tell you. You've got to spend 200000 to get the hot Rolexes. $200,000! And you want to do a package deal, you negotiate your terms before you get the garbage. Once you've bought the soft serve garbage, they won't even... They, they, man, I'm telling you, please, listen to your pontiff. Listen to your pontiff. This is the, the real way, the real world works. I'm Archie Luxury. Tell me what you think. Like, subscribe, tell your friends. Don't be afraid to put some nasty comments. And I will see you in the next one. Hi guys, Archie Luxury. And who do I recommend in America? In America, who do I recommend for quality pre-owned wristwatches? David SW, David SW, David SW. Go to davidsw.com. He is the best, the greatest pre-owned dealer in all of the United States of America. David SW, David SW, David SW. Hey guys, Archie Luxury. Who do I recommend for watches in Brisbane and Sydney? Vintage Watch Co. That's correct. Vintage Watch Co. in Brisbane Arcade in Brisbane and the Strand Arcade in Sydney. Vintage Watch Co. Brisbane and Sydney. Ronnie, I've known him since the late 90s. Ronnie is a top bloke. Luke is a great guy. Vintage Watch Co. That is who I recommend in Australia. Check out Vintage Watch Co. and the guys' amazing range of watches. They also do service and repairs. Vintage Watch Co. That is where the pontiff goes. You know, some of my paddocks came from Vintage Watch Co. That's right, guys. Vintage Watch Co.